boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Just kidding, of course. Today's edition is how to remove the crankshaft pulley. And I'm sure I'm going to show you a couple of different ways how. The crankshaft pulley is situated at the very bottom of the engine and you can see it in the bottom of this frame. Why would you want to remove it? Well, you might want to investigate an oil leak that's coming from the oil seal and possibly replace the oil seal that's behind the crankshaft pulley. Or, removal of the crankshaft pulley is uh, one of the first steps, early steps in removal of the timing cover in case you need to access behind the timing cover for whatever reason. Before you can remove the pulley, first you have to remove the accessory belts and I'm going to show you how. To remove the accessory belt, we must loosen the tensioner. And this tensioner is right in the center of the frame. It has a cast boss, which is in the shape of a 19 millimeter nut that you can use for leverage to loosen the tensioner. Let's have a look at how we do that. I like to use this tensioner removal tool. It comes with a number of different sizes for different sized tensioners and it makes it very easy. Of course you could just use an ordinary socket wrench. The oil dipstick is always in the way when you try to do this so before we even start we remove the dipstick. Now we have fit the tool onto the tensioner and it's just a matter of pushing it forward to release the tension on the belt. The belt is off. Backed up the rear of the car using the rear motor mount as a lift point. Set both sides on jack stands and of course we've chalked the wheels. Access to the pulley center bolt is through the wheel well and they give you just barely enough room to get to it. This notch in the wheel well is intended to allow you to access the center bolt. This engine is sitting a little too high to allow direct access to the center bolt. So we're going to try an alternate method uh, that does not involve dropping the engine off its motor mounts to bring it lower. I'm going to take this 19 millimeter wrench, I'm going to position it right on the bolt. Okay, I'm going to turn it so it's almost in contact with the axle. It's almost in contact with the axle. I'm going to take this piece of pipe. I'm going to slide it over the wrench to secure it. Okay, and now I'm going to go and hit the starter. This is the shade tree mechanic method of loosening the center bolts. So there we go, the bolt loosened up, okay, here is the bolt. So it's a matter of wiggling the pulley slowly until it comes out. So here we go, after about five minutes of wiggling, the pulley finally came out. This is not the standard pulley. This is an Alutech. A very rare piece. A work of art. It weighs less than half of the stock pulley. The reason that I'm removing it is because I'm selling it. As a bonus I'm going to show you how to tighten 
the new center pulley bolts. If you just put a wrench onto the bolts and turn it, if you put a wrench onto the bolt and turn it, all it's going to do is spin. You're not going to be able to tighten it. So somehow you have to prevent the engine from rotating. I have crawled under the engine. I have removed the flywheel inspection cover and I have wedged this large flat blade screwdriver between the teeth of the pulley and uh, the transmission and it's going to prevent the engine from rotating. With the screwdriver wedged in to the flywheel we can now tighten this bolt and to get it nice and tight we use some mechanical advantage coupling the two wrenches together there we go that is pretty darn tight okay that's it for removing the crankshaft pulley thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments, please put them below.